Hello and a warm welcome to everyone. So today we are going to talk about the importance of Azure certifications in 2024 and why we should earn them. So Azure certifications are a way to demonstrate and validate your Microsoft skills and knowledge for your own personal journey of learning and gaining an industry recognized certification and also for your employers to have the confidence that you can match up your experience and skills with a certified qualification. You may be thinking that you want to gain a new cloud job or transition, for example, from a, an engineering role into a design architect role. The possibilities are endless and it's normally a gradual process where you gain experience in your current role on a project, where you design that project and then implement it that will increase your skill set within that area. And it's always a good idea to focus on one technology area. It could be, for example, AI, uh, data analytics, developing uh, security, networking, maybe administration, um, design, and then back up that skill set and technology with a certification. It gives employers that extra confidence and it raises your profile on your regime while applying for jobs either internally or externally, that you know the technology with the hands-on experience. Skills and certification, they go hand in hand to get that top cloud job and advance your career. So there's lots of Microsoft certifications available. So in this video, we will cover the different Azure certification levels, training, exam practice assessments, and then registering and scheduling an exam in a test center or online. Then we will talk about some new exam features available for learning in your exam and renewing your exams every year. So we will cover everything about the Azure certification learning path that you need to know in order to choose the best certification for your needs. So please subscribe to the channel, like and comment. Let us know your Azure certification journey in the comments you know, what your plans are and how this has helped you find your, your cloud job and what you have experienced. It will be really interesting to hear your views and experiences on certification. Okay, so next let's take a look at why Azure and the market as a whole. So looking at the latest Gartner report at the end of 2023, Microsoft is a leader in this magic quadrant and is very strong in all use cases. There has been an increase in organizations looking to migrate from on-premise workloads to cloud solutions and a hybrid cloud strategy plays a massive part of this. Also, it's large global partner channel makes Microsoft a logical choice for small to large customers worldwide. Microsoft, they continue to invest across all areas of IaaS, PaaS and SaaS services with four additional cloud offerings, Microsoft 365, Dynamics, 365, GitHub and Power Platform. In addition, Microsoft have deep investments in OpenAI, and invest a further $13 billion into this area um, as of January 2023, with an aim to integrate uh, the AI startup model GPT-4 into every Microsoft product. Looking at some statistics, revenue reported October 2023 was $56 billion and increased by 13%. Operating income was $26 billion and increased by 25% and net income was $22 billion and increased by 27%. So I think you will agree, Microsoft is rapidly growing in the cloud computing space with a lot of investment across many of Azure's capabilities and offerings, enabling digital transformation for the era of an intelligent cloud. Its mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. This will fuel an increase of jobs for 2024 and beyond with Microsoft Azure being one of the leading cloud vendors. And that's why it's important to match your skill set within an Azure certification to be ready in this growing job market. Okay, so now we know a bit of background and know why Azure, let's have a look at the Azure certification levels next. 
So Microsoft, they've arranged its certification into four different levels. So we have the fundamental certification. This is for people who have started their journey into learning cloud concepts. So it's a good start to take the fundamental level for people with non-technical backgrounds as well to start your cloud journey with these certifications. So next in the certification level path is the associate certification. And this is where you would be already familiar with the Azure cloud. With the expert certification, you would have previous experience with the technology and a deeper understanding to obtain an expert level cert. There are also speciality certifications available for a few roles. So in the next section, we will take a deeper dive and look at the different types of certification that come under fundamentals, associate, expert and speciality. OK, so there's a great document, um, the Azure Training Certification Deck, and all links are in the description discussed in this video when you need to take a look. Here we have the document and we will look at the certifications poster, which gives a one page overview of certs with links. Let's click into this. So we see fundamentals, associate, expert and speciality certifications and we can click into these. So take, for example, Azure Fundamentals, and this gives us all the certification details online and the exam required for the certification. If we go back to the document to explore more, we can scroll down and we can see each cert listed. And this will give us guidance to decide if the certification is a good fit for us. And so the fundamentals, uh, for example, is a good fit if you're new to cloud or Azure. So you can build your confidence to know what's required. So we have an exam study guide there. Um, we have self-paced or instructor-led training and virtual events, all to help you succeed. We have an exam readiness zone and practice exam links as well. When we continue to scroll down, we get a one page detail for every certification. So we can check what's required and if you're a good fit for that certification. Then we continue scrolling, we can see the associate certs are listed. Um, and then when we continue, we can see the expert and speciality certs are also listed in a one page uh, document there. So this document is a very good useful reference for each certification, study guides and training for each exam. So now we have an overview of the certification. Let's go online under learn.microsoft.com and we can take a deeper dive onto what's available. And a good starting point is to start with discovery. Here we can class into products, uh, roles, different levels, subjects and credential types. So I'm going to choose fundamental certification and we can see fundamental certs listed here. Or we can choose a role based cert and we can see some associate and expert level certs listed. So we click into these. For example, it shows to earn the Microsoft Certified Azure Solution Architect Expert Cert, we need two exams. One is the Azure Admin Associate and then the Designing Azure Infrastructure Solutions exam. Those two exams will gain you the Microsoft Certified. Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification. We have self-paced or instructor-led training and we can book the exam here too. And the exam can either be in uh, an official test centre or you can take the exam online. And later on in the video we will cover what's needed for both. And we can also see speciality certifications here too. So this is a great tool to get up to date exam requirements on this website. Now we go back and we go into training and here we can explore all the learning paths, modules and courses available. So we can click on the course type. We can see fundamentals here and can also search on learning paths for a particular exam. For example, I could search on the AZ305 
Azure Architect design prerequisites and it also gives us a rough timeline on how it would long it would take to complete this learning path. We can go into practice assessments that are available from Microsoft Certs. So these are free preparation resources that assess your knowledge and fill any gaps so you are better prepared for the exam. OK, so to register and schedule an exam, we drill down into the exam. And in this case, the Microsoft Azure Admin AZ 104. So we choose the country and we can either register to take the exam in a test centre um, or we can do this online at home under special conditions. You will be responsible for making sure your test device you're taking the test on and the exam area meets security standards. You would need to run a system pre-check on your computer to see if it meets requirements before registering. And also there is a guide about online exams with Pearson VUE and what's expected from your home or office setting where you are taking the exam. When taking the exam online, it will be recorded and monitored by video and audio. It must meet these requirements listed here, i.e. no one else in the room. The space must be walled with a closed door and free of disruptions. You will go through identity verification and how the area should be set up and even the clothing you are wearing. So I'd recommend you read through this with detail if you're taking the exam online, as this explains and details the whole process. So Microsoft now allow you during an exam to look up with easy access, availability to learn.microsoft.com during the exam. This makes it much easier to use this exam resource Microsoft Learn will be available as an icon as shown here. So it's restricted to just the Microsoft Learn domain and any other websites will be denied in the browser. So Microsoft, they also provide no cost to renew your certification online before your certification expires. So this is fantastic and easy way to renew where you have a six month renewal window. Also, you can take the assessment as many times as you want, as long as you pass it. So it's simple and easy now to renew. And you can do this online without the system pre-check or other requirements as needed to take an online exam the first time around. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hope the video is useful. Please like and comment and best of luck with taking your certifications. Let us know in the comments your experience with the exams and finding a new cloud job role. Thanks and bye for now.